Hi everybody, um, I'm out here in the studio again. I want to show you a, another brand new item that is just coming into my range um, this week. Uh, they are my star maps. Now these beautiful pieces, um, this is the largest one. Let's see if I can get that showing up for you. So it is recycled Rimu with um, fine silver, recy recycled fine silver stars. Um, this is intended to represent the Milky Way. So the idea behind this piece is that our my ancestors uh, came across the South Pacific in their waka or their canoe and they followed the stars. So these star maps are representative of uh, our ancestry, uh, the journey that we go through in life. Um, each single star represents um, those who have come before us, those who walk with us on our pathway and those who will walk with us on our journey through life. So. Every single piece is entirely different. Um, I don't use a template for my maps. Oh, aren't they cool? Um, I don't use a template for my maps. I do it um, by feel, as it were. Um, there are three different size stars in this, and I'm going to show you a little bit um, now of not this large one, but I'm going to show you some of the smaller ones. So I have um, I have these at different sizes, which I have right here. This is my tiny mini star map pendant um, they they are gorgeous again it's recycled Rimu with st silver stars and uh, a silver bezel recycled silver bezel I'm going to show you how I make them because they are quite labor intensive um, and just before we go anywhere I'm just going to go turn you around and go hi mum wave she's in the garden with the cat wave <laughs> it's a family affair um, okay so I'm gonna pause this for a second because I need to get down in, in the nitty-gritty and um, show you how this is done alrighty so here we go this is the largest star map I've got that I showed you earlier um, I have different sizes so these are the mini pendants these ones are actually already finished they're ready for sanding um, these ones are finished and lacquered so they are finished and ready for sanding and I'm about to make some little earrings these wee guys here um, so I have already started the process of inlaying the silver into these so I thought I will show you how this is done so with the earrings in particular I use a, um, a silver sterling silver bezel cup um, and I actually turn the Rimu on my wood lathe so that I will show, actually show you that process um, perhaps next week turn the wood on the wood lathe to get it the right diameter to go inside the bezel cup so it fits really really snugly I also use pins, silver pins to keep it in place and then I inlay, let's see if I can get this up Boom. there we go, so I actually inlay silver wire fine silver wire into the Rimu which is what I'm about to show you now so I use three different sizes I use uh, one millimeter silver I use 0.7 and I'm about to use 0.5 so what I do like I say there's no um, there's no template with these I use this is my this is my trusty drill now you probably can't even see the drill bit on this one this is a five a half a millimeter um, a drill bit these are really really fine um, and it just you've just got to go slow so what we do is we literally take our bezel and our wood and we drill a pattern one two three four five we're doing five where will we go well, that one looks cool get it close together four and then one over the side here you got to go really careful with these um with the really fine ones because the drill bits will break i probably should use a flexi shaft but hey um this seems to work you definitely can't use a drill press because you don't have the control so we'll do the second earring One, two, three, four, five. Right, so that's the drilling done. Now what we do is we take our wire. So this is the fiddly part. And this is what takes all the time other than the sanding. So what we've got, this is five millimeter wire, silver, um, fine silver wire this goes into each of those little holes that have been drilled and is cut off then it's all sanded back so 
let me show you how that process works. So literally, it is the laborious task of popping the silver in the hole. Use your flat nose pliers to push it in as far as you can. And then I use flush cutters, these wee babies here, to flush cut flat against the wood. It's all going to be sanded down. And what that does, it actually creates, you can't really see it, but it creates a point on this bit of the wire which you can then push into the wood and it will actually grip into the into the hole. If you were to use a flat end on it, it's not going to get the same purchase in the hole. Like so. so you can imagine when I'm doing the big star maps, it takes quite a bit of time to do this and you need to do, because of the different sizes of the holes, I start with the largest ones first and then work my way down to the smallest stars possible. Okay. Right, so that's our five millimeter, 0.5 millimeter, sorry, half a millimeter wire in there. So in terms of actually embedding the wire and laying the wire in, that's finished. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, you sand it right back to the edge of the bezel cup. Let's do this. I do it by hand because you need to have control. So at this point, if you were to use a mechanical sander, if I was to use a even a Dremel to do it at this stage, you run the risk of actually popping those little silver pieces out. So it takes its time, and what it does is it. This is 240. 240 grit sandpaper, by the way. Um, I don't like to go any more coarse than that for these because of dealing with the silver. But you'll see that they're starting to become flat. Have we got that? Let me just check and make sure I can focus on that. There we go. Cool. So you can see how they're becoming flat to the surface of the wood and eventually the surface of the wood will be flat with the bezel cup and what that does when you look at these ones here it means that the edge of the bezel shows up so you get a beautiful silver edge on the piece as well as it's, it's the same flush level with the stars themselves and then it's really just a case of popping the findings in and um, popping them on a chain or on ear hooks and you're all done so